Hello friends, family and other people out there in YouTube land or internet land or whatever you want to call it or whatever I want to call it since I'm doing this tutorial. Um, it's it's Adam here again and I'm going to be uh, showing you another little trick in Nuke today which is going to be a tutorial as I've pre previously said and um, what we're going to be basically doing today is we're going to be manipulating custom channels in Nuke to gain greater control of our overall output image um, in Nuke. And there's two images or two primary channels or whatever you want to call them, two read images I should say we're going to be dealing with today in Nuke are, you know, a car which is a beauty pass which has been rendered out of Maya and a multi-map pass which has also been rendered out of Maya. Now I'm going to explain to you how to, I guess, you know, use this multi-map image here in conjunction with this CG render here. Now, they are pretty much the same thing, but what this multi-mount image is, is is an image that basically enables us to isolate certain regions of our final output image to to grade or to, to kind of, I guess, uh, manipulate based on a certain RGB value which has been isolated and then piped in to this image here, if that makes any sense. And the way that we do that in Nuke is quite simple. We use the copy channel node to do that. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's press the K key on the keyboard, and the image comes in. Or sorry, the node comes in. It's called the copy channel node. And basically, what that is is if we open it up again, it's this weird-looking window with copy channel to whatever else. But you know, I'm not going to show you what all these channels mean in here today. I'm going to show you how to basically use it for, uh, I guess, you know isolating certain areas of your object ID or multi-mat image to gain ga you know, sorry, gain greater control of your final output image in regards to grading, glows or whatever else because I mean the power behind Nuke is to do with its channels so without further ado I'll show you what I mean by that okay let's just say I want to isolate the green area on this image here I want to isolate anything that's green to grade on this image here now if you were to actually sorry let me just zoom in there again. Um, if I was to show you what these images are back to back, I'll just use the wipe key and I'll just bring that here. You'll notice that you know the tires in this multi mount image is, are green and so are the innards of the exhaust and so are the tail lamps. Now, what that basically means is anything that's going to be green in this image here will basically translate into this image here as being graded or manipulated. So the way that we do that is, okay, we, we turn off obviously our wipe key or our wipe function and we put in the B input into our primary image itself and then we put the A input into our, I guess, object ID or multi-mat uh, pass. So from there, what we basically do is we'll, we say to the copy channel node, in order for it to operate properly, we say, okay, anything that is green, pipe into a custom channel called, okay, lights dot mat. And what that basically will mean is, is if we press the G key now, which brings up a grain node, by the way, we drop that in, and we go to our mask channel, and we go to the channel called lights dot mat. What that basically will mean is, is that anything that is called lights.mat is going to be graded and as you can see if I dramatically show you anything that is sorry anything that is green in the multi-mat image will be graded in the final image that is because we basically copied the channels from this image here into this image here so what that basically means is you know we can grade just that area which has been isolated which is a green channel so in this case what I basically want to do with this image is I want to make these tail lights look as if like they're, like they're on or they're glowing because the image provided so far really looks like they're just, you know, they're turned off. And so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to isolate a particular area of this image to be able to be, I guess, graded, if that makes sense, or, you know, lit up or, you know, a certain effect applied to it such as a glow. In fact, I will use a glow. Um... So yeah, what that basically means is, what I'll do is I'll bring in a P, sorry, yes, I'll bring in a P, that doesn't make any sense, Adam. I'll bring in a roto paint node, and I'll drop it in place, and I, I want to isolate only this area that is green, not the whole car, like, you know, the exhaust and the tyres and whatever else. I just want to isolate 
the you know the tail lamps as as green. So what I do is I essentially I just roto out I guess these areas of the car. Or sorry, this area of the car. And once I've done that, put that in place. Everything's ready to go. And we're ready to grade that particular area. So basically what that means now is if I use my custom channel, which is different, I'm only going to be grading the tail lights, as you can see. So as I said before, I'll use the glow node. So I'll bring in a glow node. Place it in. And I don't want to glow the whole image, I just want to glow the tail lamps. And so what I do is I go to my custom channel again, and I bring the lights, stop map. Well that should have worked. What am I doing? I'm using my backwards not me, I'm using the wrong channel. Yes, that's right. So as you can see, it's only glowing, you know, the areas that need to be glowed, but it doesn't look right because, you know <coughs> it's only making the areas that are green, you know, glow pretty much. That that's about it. So what we need to do now is we need to define a greater region that needs to be, you know, glowed. So what I like to do is in this case, because I've done this quite a bit before, is I just blur everything in this image. So I press the B key and it brings in a blur node. And I drop that in place and I just blur everything out. And I, that will look like that now. So, you know, our original image is that, which is, you know, a clearly defined area for a glow region being the green channel, which is now blurred out. Which that pretty much translates into, you know, a greater area being, you know, glowed. Because when a tail lamp does glow, or you see anything that has been photographed that's glowing, you know, a lot of the lights, you know, they kind of bleed out into the image or of the uh, corners of the image itself. So, you know, it's doing that in this case, but then it's not doing it the way that I want it to. I want it to be more red instead of a white. So I go to my tint and my glow node, pull it up, pull up the uh, color channels, and, you know, I want them to be more red. So I'm going to pull it towards a more red channel and that's how you do it now I guess if you want to make that you know glow more you can always change the brightness you can always make it brighter and you can always change the size but I don't like to go too overboard with it I like to keep it about there and you know that's how you make them look like they're glowing I guess and you know of course you can change the brightness to 10 if you want to make it really glow but I think it's too overboard it all depends on you know I guess how you want your image to look. I think five's okay in this case. So, you know, uh, I think that's all I've got to show you today. Um, you know, have fun with multi mats and uh, I guess you know playing with them in a way and you know, using them in a way. Uh, don't be scared of them. This is you know a basic tutorial on using them or color channels and nuke. So yeah, have fun with them. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, let us know. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So just PM us. And yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Alright, I'll catch you later.